I, yes. <laughs> Um, can, of course, I knew you were going to be here. Okay. Thank God Alabama LSU did not call you back. <laughs> yes. He Googled you and he was like, we have to look for her. I'm like, okay. Okay, okay so she wanted, she wanted to know what your face looked like so she yeah. could find you. Oh, in no. case, and then I look up and I'm like, my buddy's calling me. Dude, I got to go. I can't talk to you right now. <laughs> Lucy's right here. Dan and everyone, it's me, Lucy. And this weekend, we decided to send Chris to Germany and me to Oklahoma. My name is Cole. Cole, it's nice to meet I you. I have not missed an episode of the Levitar show since 2013. How do you feel about be this being the last bedlam for a while, at least? Since it's not Oklahoma State's fault, I feel okay about it. I'm sad because it is probably the most lopsided rivalry in history. I think, uh, what, what's the, what's the face, the head coach at OU? Brian Venables. Yeah, I think he's a for in it, you know? He's That's what I'm saying. He's sad, but, you know, it is 91-19, so there's not really a point of playing anymore if it's, yeah. we're just gonna keep on winning. Who loses to KU and you're going to SEC? Who loses to KU? <laughs> Texas yeah. does that quite a bit, actually. Yeah. They're scared of us. Well, Bedlam in football is one sport. The rest of the sports we dominate in. So Bedlam series, we own OU. I'm sorry, brother, but we don't own you. Don't own us. We own you. Three-time champion, World Series champion in softball, Oklahoma Sooners. Who's the three-time equestrian champions? Oh, it's that's oh. Cool. all of our first okay. Bedlam, but it's well, also our last because the last yeah. one. That so. day. It's gonna have to find a new one. This year, the last one. I think we got a chance. Yeah! We got a chance. So we all agree it's Oklahoma's fault this is ending. It is Oklahoma's fault that this is ending. I don't hate anybody, but I prefer to hate the Oklahoma Sooners. 100% go poke. First, I just bought this off the street about an hour ago. So, it says right there and then. But if I you're guess. not wearing orange today, no. then you're losing. Yeah. You're not wearing orange today. But, but I have but Oklahoma State on. It's yeah, but you okay. Okay, you can't. I don't you can't argue with the pink shirt. You think it's cute? I, I'm a little bit worried because I'm rooting pretty hard for Oklahoma State. And we've both been at an Oklahoma victory this year. Can you say any nice thing about Oklahoma fans? I can. I'm dating one. How do you guys make it work? Uh, we don't talk football very much. Can you do a Mike Gundy imp impression? I'm a man. I'm 40. <laughs> Perfect. I'm a man. I'm 40. That view for kids. Yeah. <laughs> Do everything right. I'm a man. I'm 40. Go after anybody Get come after me. So my favorite person on the show is Billy Gill on Tuesdays for Greg Cody. Greg Cody brings something up, Billy Gill's got his back. I love that. I love the fact that Billy Gill is chaos. Pure, unadulterated chaos. Who is your favorite person on the show? You. Yes. Of course. I love you. Love you. Our number one fan yes. right here. Mike, my guy, I know you're paying a lot for the Miami Hurricanes to be decent. Get past it, man. It's over. It's past their day. You are now an Oklahoma State fan, kind of, but in Florida. You're always going to be the little brother. Florida State's bigger than you. They're better than you, man. I feel sorry for you on that. I, I apologize. And also, hey, be nice to Tony, all right? Tony's got some, he's got some good takes. Give Tony an opportunity on the show. Like you do. I love me some Tony. And Stu Gotts, uh, man, I hope you're racking up those airline miles. Send some my way. 80-20 my way. 80-20 my way. I want to dedicate this video to Cole. The best interview we have ever had, ever. 